In this video, we are going to do nothing, duh, like obviously nothing else, other than like look at an example of how someone met standard on the uh, assignment summary and influence of culture. So to start, we're going to look at the requirements of the assignment, which I actually haven't cut and pasted in, into this document that's on the screen. So I'm going to fix that with magic. Wait, poof, there it goes. All right. So to meet standard in this assignment, the summary you write needs to be clear to anyone, even if they haven't read the book that you're writing about. That being said, the summaries that you write as you go on, you can assume that I will have read those. So you don't need to keep telling me that the character is the main character, just because you've probably already done that in the first summary you wrote. Uh, you need to include all the elements of culture when you summarize the character's culture. So you're going to summarize the culture of the character in the book you're reading. You're going to select three decisions or actions that are clearly important that they did in the text. You're going to explain why those are decision, important decisions. And you're going to explain how the character's culture influences those decisions. What we're really getting at is to try to think deeply about how literature can show us the impact of a person's culture in terms of the kind of person they end up becoming. And then maybe we start thinking about that for ourselves in terms of how we turned out or are turning out for you guys who are like 13 based on the culture that you're a part of. And I guess the same could be said for anybody that we're all kind of always evolving and changing in some way and that our culture has a lot to do with the decisions and actions that we choose. Okay, so let's start with a summary. So the summary you write needs to be clear. How do they make the summary clear? Well, they did this really effective thing here first that I've been trying to get everybody to do, which is make a list of the things that happen in the story. That way you can focus on the writing when you write up your summary down here. And you don't have to be thinking like what happened in the story because you already did that and you made a list right here. So they said on pages 46 to 69, Buck, a half husky sled dog, wants to be the leader of a sled team. This was important information because if they had just said Buck wants to be the leader of a sled team, I would think that there's some guy named Buck who wants to be like dragging around other people like when they're sitting on sleds, which would make the book way weirder. But thanks for clearing it up that it's a sled dog. Um, Buck wanting to be leader has to fight Spitz, the main sled dog. Buck fights him and kills him. He begins leading the sled team with just eight members, and they are faster and better than ever. Even when the pack is tired, Buck keeps them in line and makes them do their job. The people or owners start to love Buck and accept him as being the leader of the pack. They even let him go into their camp to stay warm. They end up going on another run with the sled about 60 miles. When Dave, another older sled dog, has been there most of his life, starts experiencing a lot of pain. The people examine him and can't find any broken bones or anything wrong. Dave didn't want to get up. He kept trying to get back to his original sled spot, but his body wouldn't let him. The people did as they should and took him out in the woods and shot him putting him out of his misery. The one thing I would say about this summary um, is that this person added um, their opinion into it, and usually you don't add your opinions in a summary. You just would say, the people took him out in the woods and shot him. And by the way, sorry for picking such a bummer of a summary um, to use as an example, although it's highly effectively written. Um, <clears throat> so it probably should just say the people took him out of the woods and shot him, putting him out of his misery. With only seven members of the dog team left. Book knew... Buck knew he had to step it up. So this person did a really good job giving just the right amount of details to explain those major events that they identified in the text without getting sucked into giving all sorts of extra details that aren't really necessary. So the influence of number so influence of culture. So going back to your answer number two where you described your culture, read through it again just to review the concept. Then in the space below, you're going to summarize the culture of the main character in the book you're reading. Include and color code the following elements. So as you write a summary of your character's culture right here, I want you to color code the elements as you do them so I can see that you checked your work. So they describe the daily life, customs and laws, shared history, arts and entertainment, work and rewards, belief system, and values. And lest you think that like, oh man, I can't do this. This person managed to come up with arts and entertainment for a sled dog. Yeah, 
arts and entertainment for a sled dog. So you can figure it out. In Buck's culture, his daily life consists of pulling a sled in the snow with nine other dogs, fighting with his sled partners, singing at midnight, bullying spits, and trying to get food. When talking about laws, Buck follows typical dog rules. Going by customs, Buck tries to act like a king and a leader of other dogs. The shared history Buck has with the people is abuse and neglect. He believes that his history is what makes him stronger and makes him enjoy having a job rather than the people be around people as a pet. And in this story, Buck was like a dog who was abused a whole lot. So that's a really insightful way to talk about Buck's shared history with the other dogs he's around. For art and entertainment, Buck likes to sing with the other huskies near midnight. He likes to join with the other dogs. Okay, so that's the dog's art and entertainment. You can figure out a way to figure your characters. Buck's motivation to pull a sled every day 50 plus miles is, is that it's not bad, or is, is not that it's bad and it puts him in a really good shape. As far as beliefs go, he was raised to be a king and be a leader. So he's raised to believe he was those things. The values of his culture is determination, leadership, and doing the best. He believes he's the best and should be treated better than the other dogs. So now this person has to think about three moments in the text where at least one element of the character's culture influenced their decision or an action they made. Let's take a look. It says, important decision or action in the text. Number one, Buck had the choice to fight Spitz or let him be the leader. And notice you don't have to have direct text evidence for this one. Why is this an important decision or action? Buck killed Spitz, leaving there to be only eight members of the sledding team. Cool. That seems pretty important. And the key they told about why it's important is because they talked about what happened after that decision was made. How did at least one element of your character's culture influence their decision or action? So now I have to go back up here to the summary and think about what about their culture led them to do this. And this person said Buck had always been bullied by Spitz as part of his daily life and was sick of it. Um, oh, and so this should probably say being bullied by Spitz my guess is, to make a match. But in this case, they're relating it to that blue part of the summary, the daily life. So you don't have to relate to any one specific part of the culture, but you do need to pull something from the culture to make it influence their actions. Decision two, Buck leads uh, the back instead of the slow leaks, the owners or people who wanted to lead. Uh, the outcome was great. Buck made everyone work hard and the team was stronger than ever. So this seemed like an important thing for Buck to do. Even though I don't really understand what Buck did, Clearly they had uh, an important impact in the book. And then it said, what was one element of your character's culture? He was raised as a leader. So that was that purple part where they talked about his beliefs and how his beliefs led him to believe he should be a leader. Important decision or action? All his sled members were tired, but Buck made them, keep, made them keep going. And then why is that important? He could have let them stop and they could have all taken a break, but he wouldn't have been anything better than when Spitz was leader. So... Why did, how did one element of their culture influence his action? Buck was raised as one of his values being determination. So that's part of the values of his culture. So what they did, they identified an important moment in the text. They explained why that moment was important in terms of that character's decision. And then they explained why did their culture influence that decision. So that's how you do this one.